<laughs> yeah, well, we, we did that. They'll own the film. <laughs> this is the Postman's a good yeah. song we got there, and we got a couple other things coming in. The new end title mm -hmm. song we got. Yeah, go ahead. So like your lead character, were you ever very good at talking your way out of trouble? Uh, I was never a, a real con man. I tried it. I grew up in the streets of New York, but I was never good. Greg Kinnear has that innocent face. I never quite... I look like a gangster, it seems. They yeah. cast me as gangsters and crazed executives. Greg has the innocence, and he has the comedy, so he worked it. I would have cast you, instead of the postmaster, as the petting zoo guy. I, would, I think you could have pulled that character off. Very far. I played a postmaster general only because it's the producer's father was the postmaster general, and I have my own tuxedo from the band days when I was a musician, so I dressed up nice for him. What role does music have in your movies? Apparently a pretty big one. You're as good as doing soundtracks, I think, as you are doing some of the other things you do. Well, I think music is cr uh, really critical and key. It's the, you know, the, the modern world now, to do a comedy in the 30s, 40s, 50s, different than comedies in the 90s. You gotta have a lot working for it, and, and the sentiment have to be careful. There's a, uh, a wonderful scene where uh, Ray Kinnear, he's got an emotional side to this film. He talks about his background. In the old days, the music would swell, the violins would come, and nobody, they get nervous now. It's not the days for that. I got a boombox working, Street, uh, street rap song against it to just take it to more of a reality thing. So I got lucky on the Beaches soundtrack, Wind Beneath My Wings. Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman sailed. We got some good stuff in here. There's some new songs and some old, but I play it. I don't care what the song is. It has to work in my film, and a lot of it does. Can you tell that, you know, we have changed a lot as a society since you started doing Dick Van Dyke and some of these other shows, but the pacing is so much faster in our world now. Does that affect your uh, pace in the editing room of how you think how long scenes should go? Yes, it's the fight of the studio and the filmmaker. I like a pace. I'm a good pace fellow, but you got to stop once in a while. Studios get very nervous. Any, there's a couple of scenes, oh, it's too slow. Take, why do you need that scene? Take it out, take it out. And uh, I keep it in. I think you got to mix it up. Yes, the audience likes to go fast, but if it just zips, they don't remember anything, they're not moved. The moving audience, you got to slow down sometimes. I think that's true, too. And I think that that's, that's what's nice about it. Sometimes you have to take time to think. Yeah. But the world's going like this all the time. It has to have a... Yeah. It's a rare scene in Dear God. I mean, it's very funny. I wanted a holiday movie where would knock your socks mm -hmm. off. Really, we got the best supporting cast I ever put together, comedy people. There's a scene where the two young guys are talking about God. No particular God, just in general. It's a little bit thoughtful. Ah, who needs that? Well, you got to have some of those. It's, uh, it's the times. we got to think a minute. You just can't put the earphones on, go to your internet, and not talk to anybody. Doesn't it make you crazy, though, as a creative person, when people who are not necessarily creative are creative by title? tell you what you think you should do? Yeah, but it's the history of the world. Shakespeare said, listen, Hamlet, and the king said, yeah, but why do those guys talk at the beginning? Why don't just you start with Hamlet? Why do you need that Franco and Vernesco there? Why do you need Bernardo? So it's an endless battle, but it does drive you crazy. That's why I play an executive on Murphy Brown that's uh, crazy, so I portray all the people who have driven me crazy. I must say, Paramount with this picture, this is a, not an expensive picture, and uh, to give us a shot with all these people, uh, I was, Sherry Lansing was terrific. Well, I enjoy the movie, it's real sweet, and there's nothing wrong with sweet. No, especially at holiday time. If you're shopping, you're running around Nashville, stop a minute, take your packages, go see Dear God, I really think you're gonna laugh and have a good time. And send a card to Gary when you get through this. Yes. Uh, things like. Nice seeing you again. Good all to right, see thank you. you. Sorry to keep you waiting. That's I mean, all right. On the phone with the bosses. I know, Sherry has to talk. She has I've to talk. I've been seeing her. We used to see her out here at once.